March is almost upon us, and just like every month, a truckload of new offerings will be dropping on Netflix. There's something for everyone coming to the streaming site in March 2020, but if you happen to be a big fan of prestige dramas, romantic comedies, or both, you're really in luck. While the action-packed offerings arriving on Netflix in March 2020 are just a little bit thin, there's still a few flicks sure to get your adrenaline pumping. For some pulse-pounding action, check out Haywire, a 2011 actioner directed by Steven Soderbergh, known for entertaining films such as Magic Mike and Logan Lucky. Haywire features an absolutely sterling cast, led by Gina Carano, who you may recognize from her ass-kicking turns in Deadpool and the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. Carano stars as Mallory Kane, a dangerous government operative who finds herself self-targeted by her own shady employers. The supporting cast includes Michael Fassbender, Ewan McGregor, Channing Tatum, Michael Douglas, Antonio Banderas, and the late great Bill Paxton. Also on tap in March is Cop Out, a buddy cop comedy which stars the intriguingly weird duo of Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan. Hook, a 1991 Steven Spielberg-directed fantasy which focuses on an adult Peter Pan played by Robin Williams and his titular nemesis played by Dustin Hoffman, and the 2004 theatrical adaptation of Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, which stars Jim Carrey as the villainous Count Olaf. All of these hit the streaming service on March 1st. You want dramas? Netflix has got dramas. March 1st alone brings a wealth of hard-hitting fare, including a pair of excellent mob flicks in Donnie Brasco starring Al Pacino and Johnny Depp and Martin Scorsese's masterpiece Goodfellas. Also dropping on March 1st is the Oscar-nominated Stephen King adaptation The Shawshank Redemption and the Paul Thomas Anderson-directed There Will Be Blood, which earned its star Daniel Day-Lewis an Academy Award for Best Actor. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! On March 16th, you can check out Silver Linings Playbook, which nabs star Jennifer Lawrence an Academy Award for Best Actress. March 16th also brings a Cold War drama Tinker Taylor's Soldier Spy to the streaming giant, which sports a ridiculous cast including Gary Oldman, Tom Hardy, Colin Firth, Benedict Cumberbatch, and John Hurt. Finally, March 27th brings a vastly underrated 2012 neo-noir Killing Them Softly, which centers on a trio of small-time hoods on the run from a pair of mob hitmen portrayed by Brad Pitt and the late James Gandolfini. Rom-com fans have a lot to look forward to in March 2020. Premiering on Netflix on the first of the month alone are Always a Bridesmaid, starring Javicia Leslie, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past with Matthew McConaughey, and He's Just Not That Into You, which features an all-star cast including Jennifer Aniston, Ben Affleck, Scarlett Johansson, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Connelly, and Justin Long. Also premiering on March 1st are Life As We Know It, starring Katherine Heigl and Josh Dumel, and Sleepover, which features Alexa Vega, Steve Carell, Evan Peters, and pre-superstardom Brie Larson. And while it arrives a little late for the actual holiday, you can also catch the Gary Marshall-directed Valentine's Day on March 1st, starring Ashton Kutcher, Taylor Swift, Julia Roberts, Bradley Cooper, and Jennifer Garner. Good evening. Plus, March 1st brings a 1982 Dustin Hoffman classic Tootsie, which co-stars Bill Murray and Gina Davis and was directed by the great Sidney Pollack. Fans of Bugs Bunny and his pals are also in for a treat in March 2020, as a pair of awesome selections will hit Netflix on March 1st. You'll be able to catch the 1996 live-action and animation mashup Space Jam, as well as the underrated, hilarious 2003 Brendan Fraser starring Looney Tunes back in action. Netflix will field an absolutely paltry new crop of horror and thriller releases in March 2020. If you dig the Resident Evil series, you'll find 2004's Apocalypse and 2007's Extinction available for streaming on the first of the month, and they account for two of the three new offerings for the month in total. The third, however, is the very definition of an underrated gem, Sam Raimi's 2000 psychological horror flick The Gift. The movie stars Kate Blanchett as Annie, a small-town psychic and widow who foresaw her own husband's death. She begins to have similar disturbing visions involving her best friend Valerie, whose abusive husband Donnie is a looming presence in her visions. Keanu Reeves plays Donnie, delivering a performance completely unlike anything you have ever seen out of him before, while Oscar winner Hilary Swank plays Valerie. The Gift was Raimi's last film before tackling the seminal superhero flick Spider-Man, and it's fun to see J.K. Simmons and Rosemary Harris, who would go on to portray J. Jonah Jameson and Aunt May respectively in minor roles here. If you're a fan of tight, tense thrillers, you owe it to yourself to check this flick out. As is usually the case, Netflix will be offering up a few intriguing stand-up sets during March 2020. On March 3rd, check out Quarter Life Crisis, the first solo special from Taylor Tomlinson. All my friends are like, you need a guy with a car and a job, and I'm like, yeah, but then I gotta deal with his wife. Like, it's a whole thing. 
She may be only 25, but she's seemingly been plying her trade forever, and has been a regular on the late-night talk show circuit since making her TV debut on Last Comic Standing in 2015. March 10th will see the release of End Times Fun, the new special for Mark Maron. You may recognize him as the host of the WTF with Mark Maron podcast, or perhaps fear his appearances in feature films like Swords of Trust and Joker. He also starred in his eponymous sitcom Maron from 2013 to 2016 on the IFC Network, and he currently stars as Sam Sylvia on the hit Netflix series Glow. Finally, on March 17th, you can watch Hey Big Boy, the latest stand-up set from notorious party dude Bert Kreischer. In case you're not familiar with his comedic aesthetic, just know that in 1997, Kreischer was featured in a Rolling Stone article in which he was designated the top partier at the number one party school in the country. Florida State University. Kreischer's exploits were the basis for the classic comedy feature Van Wilder, the movie which helped to make Ryan Reynolds a household name. Last but not least, Netflix will be offering a small but scintillating selection of new television seasons in March 2020. The long-awaited third season of the hit animated series Castlevania will premiere on March 5th, followed by a slightly more irrelevant animated offering, Season 2 of the hilarious Paradise PD, on March 6th. Also dropping that day is Season 2 of Ugly Delicious, the fascinating documentary-slash-cooking-show-slash-travelogue hosted by the genially charismatic chef David Chang. March 17th will bring us Season 2 of the CW sports drama All-American, and Season 3 of that network superhero series Black Lightning, which has at long last been established to have a connection to the shows of the Arrowverse via the recent massive crossover event Crisis on Infinite Earths. Finally, March 27th will see the release of Season 3 of Ozark, the Jason Bateman starring crime drama which has kept fans waiting for about a year and a half for new episodes. Bateman portrays Marty Bird, a crooked financial planner who relocates his family from Chicago to Missouri after a money laundering scheme blows up in his face. Unfortunately for him, he's indebted to a Mexican drug cartel, and things don't get any less less tense after the family's move. If you haven't yet caught Ozark, now would be a good time to catch up on the first two seasons, which are pretty great. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.